Hey guys. Hey. Can you see me? <laughs> yes. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna take a look at the wrist here. I want to show you guys a few things. If we could zoom in. Can you guys see the wrist? Yeah. Here we go. All right. So th this this wrist was positioned with this uh, device, the V-Align positioner, which you guys can see outside. Uh, essentially, what this is is it's a it's a uh, positioning band, but it, it has a little pillow underneath that you can inflate with a blood pressure cuff. And so it actually will sort of externally rotate and sort of uh, position the arm so it's easier to access. I wanted to show that to you. And then we'll, so you can release it with this little button. The next generation of this device is going to also have a closure band built in, but we can talk about that later. Um, so the way that we close the artery is, is really pretty simple. This is a five French uh, Merit Prelude sheath. What I usually do is I pull it back about uh, an inch outside the skin. It's clean and dry. Um, and then I position this band. This is the TR band from Terumo. You can actually see the green dot here. And the green dot needs to be not over the skin puncture site, but over the entry into the vessel, which is a bit higher. And so I'm going to wrap that right here. I'm going to try to position it exactly. Try not to move your arm. Okay, and if you look closely, you can see the green dot. <clears throat> Keep your arm still. All right, I'm going to get 15 cc's of air, and this is a syringe that's proprietary. You won't, you won't accidentally inject the sheath with air. That's why it was made that way. I'm going to inflate this with 15 cc's of air. Gets pretty, pretty tight. Now I take the sheath out completely and put that to the side. And so now I don't have patent hemostasis, I have complete hemostasis. So with my finger over the back of the plunger, what I do is typically uh, release a little bit of air until I see bleeding. That's one way to indicate that the artery is open, which I see there. And then I put another CC back in until I get hemostasis, which is right about there. There's a great distal radial pulse, which is one way to do it. The other way to do it is to occlude the ulnar and watch the monitor and see if the radial pulse is still there, which it is. And you guys can hear it on the monitor probably. And so that's the other way to demonstrate that you have patent hemostasis. And you can see here, there's no bleeding. It's perfect. The artery's open, uh, and we're good to go. I'll leave this on for about an hour, and then I'll take it off. This is a similar device, uh, which I wanted to show everybody. This, this just came out. This is the Prelude, uh, pr Prelude uh, Sync. It's essentially uh, a very similar device. It just has these different colors, probably more patient-friendly. But other than that, it's basically the same thing. And you can see how he's moving his arm a bit. Even with that, it's not bleeding or anything like that. So we'll leave this on for about an hour. Uh, is there anything else you guys wanted to see with the closure, or uh, is that good? Hey, Aaron, so when I, when I came here for the course back, back a couple years ago, you, you, you said that you keep it on for 45 minutes and then take, keep. take out the uh, uh, air incrementally. So now you're just taking it off at, would you say an hour, you just take it off? I take it off in about 60 to 90 minutes. It really depends what, what, what we're doing. If the patient's going to nuclear medicine, we usually take it off when they get back, which is a bit longer than an hour anyway. Uh, but they can, go, you know, they can walk over there. They don't have to be uh, you know, lying down, which is a nice thing. And if it's an outpatient that's going to go home in an hour, we'll take it off in an hour. It really depends on what we're doing. If it's a complex intervention where we give a lot of heparin, we might leave it on for two hours. There really is no limit. Um, and I've left it on overnight in, in a rare scenario where somebody was bleeding after we took it, took it out. Uh, the great thing about this is you can see right through it. And so I can see right now that the artery is patent. I can feel the pulse and I can see that there's no bleeding. So if there's any bleeding, I'll either put more air into the band, which is what I did just, just now because he moved it a little bit, or I'll put a second band a little bit higher uh, and usually put about half the amount of air in and that will tamponade whatever's, whatever is bleeding either proximal to the puncture site or even a little bit distal, and that works really well too. That's it. So uh, we can, you guys, uh, we're going to start another case in room two, but feel free to go ahead and finish another talk or two, and we'll let you know when we're ready. All right, great, sounds good.